Well, I just got a product from Sculpture Depot in uh, Loveland, Colorado. I'll put a link to this uh, product in the uh, video description. And uh, it's an 18 inch uh, proportional set of calipers. It's got uh, uh, holes at different a uh, areas here to uh, change the uh, proportions. I take for instance, let me show you. Time to play with some clay. I take the measure with the small end of these proportional calipers to the uh, length of the arm from the shoulder, top of the shoulder to the elbow. And then I take that and put it right there. And you can see that my elbow falls right where it's supposed to. That's how you get a proportional. It's uh, also the same thing with the uh, head measurement. If you've got something that you can take a proportional measurement off of, it gives you a proportional size. I got a little extra because of hair. But uh, it's a good way of measuring and uh, taking a, a object and uh, scaling it and uh, or drawing and scaling it. These are really useful. I had a pair years ago from, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Sculpture House in New York. And they were terrible. I mean, it had a sliding uh, thing that uh, would change the uh, proportions. But this one is finely machined. And that one sells for almost uh, $200 or over 150 or more. Anyway, um, I don't know. I haven't checked lately, but uh, I think that's what uh, Karen at uh, Sculpture Depot said. This pair here, this guy that makes these, finally uh, machines these so that they're exact on both ends. There's not one end sm smaller or they line up perfectly is what I'm trying to say. And then these holes are at precise uh, positions like one fifth, uh, one, no, four to one, five to one, three to one, two to one, um, and then he, he just has like one to one right there, right at th this hole. And these are just dynamite. Now you unscrew this, uh, uh, nut here and lift it off and you can change the holes until you can get it to uh, match the, uh, sculpture you want to do. And, uh, it's, it's really handy. But anyway, these, uh, are just under $82 at Sculpture Depot. And the reason they're expensive is because of the, the fine machine work that it, it, it takes time to produce these. They don't get just pop out of a machine. He has to make each uh, part of it by hand. And uh, I think they're well worth it. I'm, like I said, I'll, I'll put the link uh, below in the uh, video description. All right, where I left off yeah, last week, um, I was working on this clay, and I decided to uh, change the arm position, and I'm going to change it again. Um, I'm going to work out a different arm position for both arms, which means I'm going to have to re-sculpt this uh, whole area too. But that's okay. I'm, that's what I do for a living. I'm, I play with my clay. And... Uh, I want to uh, have her working with her hair, but in a different position. So um, that's what I'm working on today, and hopefully I'll get a little bit further along. I'm getting a late start this afternoon. I've had to do some uh, phone business. Uh, I've got a gentleman that wants to uh, uh, put one of my bronzes in his... Uh, traveling art show and I had to do a lot of 
back and forth with the foundry to get a casting cost and all that stuff for him. And so I just have been busy doing other things today other than sculpting. Sometimes happens. All right. Be right back. All right, I've got uh, the arm length from the wrist to where it joins the uh, torso measured out. And I took the measurements off that figure and reduced them down to the size for this figure. And uh, right there is where the elbow is. And uh, so it's just a matter of trying to figure out where I'm going to put her hand. I'm just trying to work out the, the arm positioning so I can make the armature. And uh not sure this is going to work out really good or not. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to see what it's going to look like. Boy, I hate to cut this apart, but I'm going to have to, I think. All right, I'm going to have to cut this arm off because it's not going to work on the uh, new design. I'm trying to decide whether to put long flowing hair or braids. I'm thinking, and this is just a thought, of having her arm resting on her lap, holding a mirror... Uh, they they would put the uh, mirror material in a wooden frame with a handle on it, and I would have her holding it across her lap. I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm just thinking right now. But uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the other hand. That's the only thing. Could have her holding a comb. But that might be too much detail for the foundry. Believe me, I'm finding out the cost of a foundry uh, these days because of the high cost of materials. A uh, bronze that used to cost 1500 to cast is going to cost me almost, well, over $4,000 to cast. And that really raises the cost of the uh, price that you sell your bronze to a client for. And that's unacceptable. It just really is. And uh, I hate to see that happen. All right, having those calipers, that proportional caliper really does help because you can get the arms to the proportions they're supposed to from an anatomically correct figure. And uh, once you figure out the uh, scale uh, that you're scaling up to, uh, you can work out those uh, proportions. I like this. I just got to figure out what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna think about this overnight. I know it's not very much today, but uh, I'm running low on time here. I'm going to keep these on there. And I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to do some research into different things she could have in her hand. Uh, even down to a feathered fan. All right, everybody. Have a great night. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.